in this video we will go through the installation guide of react native cli how we can install the react native cli tool and uh, how we can actually install and set up the environment variables i will take you to the official documentation of the react native and the guideline how we can follow those guidelines and how we can create our first react native cli based project so let's get started to create our react native project with react native cli you need to go and see the guidelines provided by react native official documentation so i can go here get started i can go into the environment setup setting up the environment here you have two options expo cli react native cli we have gone through expo cli it's quite easy to set up for react native cli it's a bit complicated uh, we can choose the the instructions depending upon the platform but if for example in this case i want to choose windows and android for mac os users they have different instructions and mac os user actually has much more flexibility when they are developing react native application because at the same time they can run and test your their application on iphone emulator and also on android emulator unfortunately for windows users they can only test their application and uh, how they look in uh, android only but they cannot in um, iphone because iphone emulator will not be installed on windows it's only available on mac machine similarly in uh, for linux users <coughs> they can uh, test their application on android emulator uh, only for windows users they can test their application directly on iphone device and uh, uh, that's uh, that's the one way uh, when we do or do the development with the help of expo so you need to install the dependencies you need to see if your node js uh, python and jdk installed easy way for installation is use choco so choco actually uh, do all the installations for you so you can uh, run this you need to have a jdk you need to have a python 2 not python python 3 because if you don't specify 2 by default python is considered as version 3 and above and you definitely need to uh, install node.js then you need to set up the uh, android uh, development environment for this you need to go and install the android studio so android studio comes up with some sdks and uh, uh, react native cli actually require sdks so you need to do that and uh, you can set up uh, android virtual device in this uh, these are actually the emulators and uh, you can choose which emulator you want and uh, the image uh, the complete image of that emulator will be downloaded on your pc and then you can uh, test your project on emulator if you have android device uh, you can skip that it's not necessary to have an emulator on your on your machine because you are testing your react native cli project directly on your device but for this you also need to do some setup to by, ins uh, by installing uh, uh, drivers for uh, the emulating and uh, development uh, mode you need to enable dev development mode debugging mode on your uh, mobile so from here you can actually download the latest version of android studio and then you can go through that how you can work but uh, that's not necessary but you also need to install the SDKs <coughs> so I have Andro Android Studio already installed so let's run this so Android Studio is just uh, a kind of editor which provides you uh, development environment for uh, for the Android development with the help of Java and Kotlin but you also need to install android sdk and you see that it requires the android 9 sdk at least so you need to have that uh, android 9 pi sdk 
so you need to actually install that and you can do that through the SDK manager and you can do and set up the Android home for Android home you need to specify that uh, your user and uh, it by default install uh, under uh, app data and then local Android and then SDK so you need to provide the SDK path in Android home uh, environment variable so you actually need to open environment variables you add it and you need to add Android home if Android home does not exist so you need to create a new and you just copy and paste Android home exactly from here so you can actually copy this from here so Android home you can paste it and then you need to paste the path of your SDK so in this case I have SDK in users my username and then app data local and SDK so this is the thing that you need to set up over here and uh, after the installation you can actually go and see this and then you can you can also need to provide the platform tools in path right so in environment variables so under the path you need to specify the app data local android as you can in platform tools all right so actually no by default it is installed in app data and local android so this is the traditional path the only thing that would be different uh, from uh, user to user would be the username over here that's it and that's all about the setup of uh, the Android installation so this is my Android studio running and you can configure the AVDs from here which are virtual devices in my case I have uh, installed two virtual devices you can create a new virtual device and you can specify the device size and um, its uh, dimensions and uh, so on and then you can you can choose which device you are looking for like this one so if I press next I need to choose the Android SDK version which which I need to actually download so these are the SDKs that I can use that so these are the images and other images so in this case I have only one so if you install such as Pi so you need to actually download for Android 9 so you need to actually download this and then uh, you need to continue that so downloading would take like a lot more size let's say for example in this case which is Android 10 <coughs> and uh, it's 4.9 GB of size so it will take much more time for the installation let's create our new application with the help of react Native CLI so it says over here that if you previously installed global react Native CLI so you need to uninstall that to do that you can actually do npm and install react native CLI which is globally so you can do that if you already have installed if you have not installed you are first time over here then it says that uh, react native is now the part of npx and npx is actually comes up with node.js which, which means when if you have installed node.js on your machine which is uh, 12 version and above uh, you don't need to install react native cli just like we did for expo so for expo cli we need to install expo cli but for react native cli it's already available with npx which means that we are good to go and we can create our new project with the help of npx react native so if you are not sure if you have react native cli installed already on the machine or not it does not matter you can just run this command npm uninstall globally install react native cli so if it's installed it will uninstall otherwise nothing will happen 
So let's move into my React Native directory and I'm going to create a React Native project with the help of npx React Native in it just like expo in it. So I will specify the project like first uh, React Native CLI project. So it will create a React Native CLI project. It will definitely download the dependencies which are actually node modules and uh, it will uh, create my project so that I can actually run that project. So let it install. All right, our first project has been created with the help of React Native CLI and uh, it has downloaded all the dependencies and installed all the dependencies and uh, it has also provided some instructions for iOS and for Android and uh, we can use npx react native run android to run our project in uh, android emulator so let's do that <coughs> 